that's what you get when you uh, receive your camera. Tripod. The morale patch. And the camera itself. Okay, so you'll get the camera, USB lead, mini tripod, or morale patch. Um, the camera can be mounted either way, it's got a mount top and bottom. Um, so you can ceiling mount it or tripod mount it, what you need is the, the sticker on the top facing up, so don't mount it up that way, put a little arrow uh, just to make sure, but to make sure that the, the sticker is facing up, you won't have any problems, what you need to do is screw on, ideally not plugged in so that it's easier to, to move, just get it started and then it's easier just to move the the tripod, there you go, and then tighten up this bit, the last bit, and there it is. Then what you need to do is place it um, either on the floor, or we don't necessarily recommend that, you can ceiling mount it with a different mount, this is what comes with it. Um, what we recommend is wherever your projector is, whether it's ceiling mounted or on the floor or on a table or anything like that, just put that either next to or directly on top of the projector and then by holding this button on the side it might be stiff because these are brand new so it might be a little bit stiff but once they go there you go but you can move them to whatever angle you want them to be and then got the dust cap um, and that's it for the unboxing for this video um, I'm going to be using um, a different tripod just for ease of ease of filming to get it at a different level um, my projector is right up in the ceiling and it would just be um, very difficult to film that so this is what comes with it and that will um, work for most people but again just just for filming today I'll be using a, a different um, tripod so uh, let's get to it okay so once it's mounted then get the cable, make sure that the, the notches line up, push them together, make sure they're nice and firm and then plug it into your, into your PC. This is probably what it's going to look like um, because the camera has a manual aperture so it more likely ships with the aperture closed. The aperture is the middle of the three rings so on the aperture you've got O and C meaning C for closed O for open so we want to open the aperture and you can see the amount of light it's letting through obviously it's zoomed right in on, on the screen at the moment so we need to zoom it out and focus it so on the one nearest the camera you've got W and T T meaning, meaning tight, W meaning wide, so we want to zoom out so that's wide. These little grub screws here, just very lightly finger tight. Just undo them and then they'll start to move. So I'm just moving the zoom at the minute. Okay, it's obviously zoomed out reasonably well. So I'm now going to move to the front one, which is the focus. Again, just fit, un, untighten it very gently and we'll try and focus it up. The focus acts like a zoom as well, so it's, it's getting the balance between the two. Okay, so I'm better focus, but still too zoomed in, so I'll zoom out. 
then see if I can get, there we go. Okay, so I'm happy with, happy with the zoom, happy with the focus. So I'm just gonna finger tight, tighten the grub screws and then just move the camera so it's as flat as possible. What I'm looking for is a black ring or black border all the way around the screen with, um, with no obstructions or anything that will reflect back or any objects. Like I'll move an object here. So I've just moved the fire extinguisher into the bottom corner there that will not, not work. So make sure that you've got a clear view of the screen with black all the way around it, no obstructions. Okay, I'm happy with that. These cameras should be shipped um, with a black and white view, infrared, um, I'm, I on purpose made this one into colour just to show you what to do if it's colour. You should not be able to see a red button here. This red button down below is fine but these and all of this should be in black and white. So if your camera is in colour, um, go to the website, um, basically come out, come out of here by clicking the red X at the top go onto our website at pointblanksimulator.com and go to support and look for camera support and then uh, there'll be a, another video in there of how to, um, how to sort that out. Okay, now we've got the camera in IR mode. It should ship like this, but again, uh, different drivers, different computers may put them back to non-IR, so, um, if yours is in full colour, refer to the website under support, under camera support, and uh, it'll, I'll show you how to get it back to how it should be. And it should then stay like that with that computer indefinitely. Um, so now we're in black and white, or as you've just opened it up and you've put it into focus and zoom correctly, um, this is what you should see. So as it says, adjust your camera so it can, be, so it can see the whole projector screen and that it is in focus. Okay, we've done that, I'm happy with that. So the next one is make sure that the contrast isn't too bright or too dark. Okay, that's referring to the aperture on the camera. Right now it's very blown out, which means it's too bright. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go back to the camera and look at the middle ring, which has the O and the C on it. C meaning closed, O mean, meaning open. Open gives you more light, closed gives you less. So right now it's too dark. So I'm just going to pull it back to the C, very gently, like all the way to the C, obviously it closes it all the way, makes it exposed, overexposed. So I'm just bringing it back to, back to closed very slowly until within the black box that you're looking at on your projector screen, you can see the, the view of what the camera can see you can still read the text, but then within the black box of that image, you can just about, I don't know if I'm point, just about see this. So you want to be able to still read this, but only just about see this calibrate button within this box. Okay, so you, you've got the, the, bright, the bright screen on your projector, and then what the camera sees off that, which is there, and then only just within that black box. And that's it. So once you've got that, and again you've got a black, black border all the way around, nothing's reflecting or refracting back. You haven't got um, a heavy light, down lighter, or any light source or daylight coming onto the projector, you're good to go. And all you do is press calibrate. And that's it. That's the camera calibrated. So at this point, 
you want to then press a fine adjustment. This will then show you where the, the computer thinks the, the dots are at this point. If it says calibration failed, you'll have to come out of the program and come back into it and then readjust your camera. It might be too dark or too bright. Um, once you've played around with it, if you follow my instructions, you, you, should, you should do it first time, no problem. Now what this has done, it's mapped, it's mapped the, uh, the dots and the, where my camera is in relation to the screen. So you can have a camera off to the side, up, down, left, right, wherever you want it to be, it will work it out. And now your shots will be where they should be. The reason I go to fine adjustment is for example, there might be a slight reflection somewhere on the screen or it, it, the projector is not as necessarily good as mine or you, there's loads of reasons. It rare, rarely happens with this camera, but if it does, you'll see that that dot there, for example, doesn't match up with the calibration dot and it needs to, to obviously get one for one realism for where you're shooting. So if you notice one that is out with the mouse, click on it and then with the keyboard on your, on your key on your laptop or PC, just move it up, down, left, right, so that it's dead center. Um, just make sure all the corners are good. Yeah, we're good. So you just press Find Adjustment again, then Save Data, and then OK. Now what I can do is I can get a, a laser. Just for a minute, I'm going to be using um, a cert pistol. So now I'm going to just shoot at the screen and you'll see a, a red dot wherever my laser goes. And that will show you that will show you that the the laser and the calibration is correct. Um, as it says, use this page to adjust your sights to the laser hit. Okay, so if you're using a, um, a, a visible laser, like a red laser, um, you want the red laser to be zeroed to your sights. Um, but if you're using an infrared laser, you can use the calibration within the sim itself, but we always recommend just to zero your laser to that specific firearm every time. Um, it just makes it a lot easier later on within the sim. Um, so just double check that, that that laser is going exactly where, or the dot from the calibration is going where your laser is going. Once you're happy with that, make sure you've pressed save data, I know I already have. And then you um, press the red X. Your camera is now calibrated and I've now calibrated my, my, my pistol. You probably only have to ever do it once. Um, so that I know that my visible laser is calibrated to my sights. Next thing is shot detection. So we load up the shot detection. Again, any antivirus that pops up, just say allow. Okay, so this software here detects the actual laser you see I'm just moving that around the projector screen. Um, what it would do is convert that laser, whether it's visible red or infrared, it will convert that into your actual bullet shot within the simulator using the mathematics it's just done with the, the camera calibration to work out exactly where you want to shoot. So if I shoot here, that's where the bullet's going to go, not up here. Um, so what you're going to see is in the green, the first green text that says capture and then the red says detect. By pressing spacebar you'll go through the different modes. That is literally the only thing you need to be touching right here. So what I'm going to do is press spacebar twice and in this mode it will track where my laser goes and put these purple dots. If you haven't done your aperture correctly on your camera you might get 
um, a reflection of a light source somewhere on your screen and you'll get all this stuff like this. What you need to do is just turn the aperture down ever so slightly on your camera until those dots stop and then you're good but again if you followed my instructions you, you won't need to do that part. So I'll just press C to clear that I'll just to show you again it's picking up my lasers and that's where I'm going to be shooting. Okay. Um, once you're happy with that and no extra purple dots are, are turning up you press spacebar one more time and then that says click now your laser will actually move your mouse okay and that is what our simulator will be reading so this shot detection software needs to stay open so you can leave it on the screen where it is or you can minimize it but don't shut it. That's it, you're ready to go. Now you run the sim.